Hello children, how are you? I hope that everybody is staying at home playing safe. Yes children? Okay. Uh, in our first lesson, we have learned different things about food and its components. Yes? I hope that everybody have understood the lesson very well. And you have already done the homeworks also. That is very good children. Like uh, listening and understanding and doing the activities will help you learn more and more. Why? Because science is a living subject which is daily seen in our routine life. So, now we are going to start our lesson 2. Okay children, this is your Sabagya Madam and let us start our lesson. So, what is today's lesson? Our second lesson is Acids and Bases. Acids and bases. I think these terms are very new to you. You don't know what is an acid and what is a base. Uh, but I hope that many of you children have heard about acid. So generally some acids are used to clean your home. In your home they will be using it. Now in this lesson let us learn about what is an acid, base and a salt. And in our daily life how they are useful for us. Oh. go into deeply into our lesson let us ask you questions for ourselves see the first one what food do we eat what food do we eat daily we know that we are eating different varieties of foods at home we take them in the morning tiffin in the afternoon lunch in the evening snacks and also in the evening dinner right children we eat different varieties of dishes and we eat different things also. What are they? We eat fruits, vegetables, leafy vegetables. Yes, children. We also eat cereals and pulses. And we eat many varieties of food items daily. So, now let us know what else are there in these food items. Why? Because food plays an important role in one's life. So, what is our second question? Do all look and taste alike? Okay. If I give you a chocolate, how do it taste? Think children, how do it taste? Yes, it is very sweet in taste. So everybody loves to eat chocolates, right? Okay. If I ask you to eat a bitter gourd, in Telugu you call it as kakar kaya. Okay. If I ask you to eat that one, how do you feel? Oh, it is very bitter in taste. So you can't eat it with the Without cooking it, yes? Even if you cook also, you cannot eat it. Right, children? Okay. If I give you a chili, green chili, how do it taste? It is very spicy. So, children, see, whenever we are eating different varieties of food items or fruits or vegetables or something else. So, do all these things taste alike? No, we are having each and everything in a different taste. So now let us see what are the different tastes that we generally see. So what taste do we see? The tastes are like sweet, sour, bitter, salty and spicy. These are the tastes which we generally uh, try to eat whenever we are eating different varieties of food items. Yes children? We always love to eat the sweet items. Either it could be fruits or chocolates or anything else. We wanted to eat more amount of sweet. Why? Because it is very good to your taste buds on your tongue. So now come to the sour taste. Sour. So you don't like to eat regularly but you love to eat it sometimes. Bitter. Bitter is very bitter so you can't eat it at all. So you don't even like to turn to that side. Salty. Salty is also okay fine. If it is too salty you cannot eat but if it is a little salt you can try to eat. Okay. Next spicy. Yes this is very spicy. Some people really love to eat very spicy chicken. Yes or chili pickle or something like that. But most of the people don't like to eat more amount of spiciness. Okay children. So all these variety of taste are being eaten by us in one or the other way. Yes, so all the food varieties or all the food sources which we are eating contain either of these tastes. So now 
now let us see some examples of each of these tastes. Okay. Sweet. What kind of thing will be very sweet in taste? If you see the sugar cane, it is very sweet in taste. Everybody loves to eat sugar cane. Yes. Sometimes we often drink sugar cane juices in the summer season. Okay. Next, chocolate. Chocolate is a favorite food item for every person, especially the children. They love to eat chocolates more and more. Piesum. Yes, your mommy will be cooking at your home. You love to eat all the dry fruits and the piesum and the milk, which are very sweet in taste. Yes, children? Okay. Now, the so tasting food materials. Lemon juice. In the hot summer, everybody wanted to drink lemon juice. And all the citric acid family contain this taste, the sour taste. Like oranges, lemons, all these are in sour in taste. Okay, gooseberries. So you, sometimes you eat raw gooseberries and sometimes you make it or you preserve them in the salt and you will mix it and you will eat it. Okay, kimchi. It is also one kind of uh, food material which is very sour in taste. Okay. Now we'll go with the other test. Bitter. Bitter means very ugly. You don't like to eat that bitter gar. Especially the bitter gar, the coffee. If you try the coffee at home, though it is a little tastier to drink, but when you sip the coffee into your mouth, after a few seconds you can feel that bitter taste in your tongue. So the coffee is also very bitter in taste. Like green tea, cranberry. All these are some examples for the bitter taste food item. Okay, children. Now the salty food item. See the chips which you eat at home. Yes, children, the different varieties of chips which contain high amount of salt. They are very salty in taste. Okay, the mixed nuts. The nuts, if you mix all the nuts together and if you eat, generally all the nuts we will salt them, we will roast and salt them for a little taste. So they are very salty in taste. The pasta sauce, the butter sauce, and the salads and the pickles. So the pickles are also using more amount of salt for the matter of preservation, which we have learned in the earlier class. So the salty pickles, which is also a preservative and it is very salty in taste. So we are eating different varieties. See the sweet, the sour, the bitter, the salty and the spices. Spices means see the red chilies contain more amount of spice. Yes children, you can feel whenever you are eating very spicy item, you feel very thirsty. Like you wanted to drink more amount of water. So what are the examples for the spicy taste? The chilies, the pepper, the ginger. Yes children, and all varieties of spices that we uh, use in the kitchen. Like cardamom, all these are very spicy in taste. So children, now I hope that you have understood what are the different tastes that you really taste in your daily food routine, yes, in your diet or whatever food item you love to eat, you experience any one of the tastes here, yes, the sweet, the sour, the bitter, the salty and the spicy. And these are only few examples of what we eat. There are many other examples also, we will see about them later. And my third question is, is there any difference between a green mango and a ripened mango? So last season was summer season and we really love to eat mangoes every year during the summer. Right children? So some children will really love to eat the green colored mangoes which are not at all ripened. Raw mango. Which is green in color and which is very so in taste. Yes? If you eat a ripened mango, completely ripened mango, what is the taste of the ripened mango? It is very sweet. See, the same food items have two different tastes. In the first condition of the raw mango, it is very sour in taste. It is If it is a completely ripened mango, See, there are two different varieties of taste in a single item. One is sour and another one is sweet. Uh, I'll ask you one more question. See, everybody loves to drink uh, lemon juice, right? So just to take a lemon, squeeze it in a glass and pour some water and try to drink it. What is the taste of that juice? It is very sour, yes? Now you add two spoons of sugar into it and now stir it very nicely and try to drink it. 
What is the taste of the lemon juice? Yes, it is very sweet. Everybody loves to drink that. Okay, now take another glass and squeeze a lemon and now add a pinch of salt to it. How do it taste? It is also very good to taste but it is a little saltier. Yes children? See, the lemon which is sour in taste, when added with sugar, you, give, you get a different taste. And when the same sour lemon juice, when added with salt, will give you another taste. So now children, in same food item, we are seeing three different tastes. Sour, sweet and salty. So what is the difference? The difference is nothing but it is a combination. Only entirely only the lemon juice will give you a sour taste. A lemon juice with sugar will give you sweet taste. And the same lemon juice with salt will give you another salty taste. So, if you eat the food item individually, you are giving a good taste. Or if you are taking the same food item with another food item, you are getting another taste. So, all these tastes, what does this taste give or what actually is present in these food items to give such taste? We will learn about them right now. Okay, children? Now be ready for learning our lesson to acid, salt and base. What are these three different ingredients and in what food items do we find this? And what does actually this help us in our food? Okay, children? Okay, children. See so now, let us see some more things that we generally see in our food. The taste, the smell, and the color change. Okay, the taste. As I said, that different food items have different taste. It could be sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, or something else. Yes, children. So the taste is different for different food items. And the smell. See, if a sweet mango, uh, ripened mango is there, it smells very sweet. Yes, if you go and uh, just see the spray which you spray onto your body at your home, the deodorants, they are also very sweet and pungent smell. Sorry, not pungent, sorry, they are very sweet smelled. Okay, and now if you put a cockroach hit, what is the smell of the cockroach hit? It is very different, you can't smell it. Yes, children, why it happened that some Things are very sweet to smell and some things are very hard for you to smell them. What is containing in those things that you cannot smell? Okay, uh, if you ferment any food like uh, food for the batter of the dosa or idli, when you prepare it freshly, it is very good in smell. Uh, you leave it for one day outside, not putting in the refrigerator. Then if you turn that fermented food, it gives you a different smell. It is something like a sour or bitter smell. So it is not good for your taste as a smell. So what is the reason? Why when freshly prepared batter is good smell and after leaving the batter for few days or the like leaving for one or two days outside, why the smell is different? What is actually happening with this food materials? What actually is present in them? Okay. Now the color change. See, when some substances are added with another substances, you observe a change of color. What do you observe children? You observe a change of color. So why this is all happening? Why the taste is different? Why the smell is different? And why there is a color change in the different food materials? See, if you take a freshly brought apple you leave it there on the table for for the first day you look it looks very fresh and neat leave it for one week now it start changing the color and if you leave it for 10 days you can feel that ugly smell coming out yes why there is a change in smell and why there is a change in color or why there is a change in the uh, order like why taste everything will be changed yes uh, you take a fresh cup of curd it is very good to eat a little sore but it is very good to eat if you leave it outside for two to three days what is the smell of that 
butter, sorry, not the uh, curd. How do it smell? It stinks, yes? So why, what is the reason? What actually is present in these food materials making them to change their taste, smell or color? Why, what is happening there? Now, before we learn about those things, now we'll see first an indicator. What is an indicator? Indicator is a substance which indicates a change in color when some substances are added to them. These are called as indicators. What are indicators, children? A substance which indicates a change in color. Any substance which show you a change in color when another substance is added. A indicator is a substance which show you a change in color. Specifically here the color is being changed. When, when another substance is added. See if it is substance A. It is having some color. If I add substance B. Now A plus B is there here. When I added B to A, what is happening? The color of the A is converted or changed. So that colored substance which is showing the difference in the color is nothing but an indicator. Okay children? Okay, so the natural indicators are the turmeric and china rose. These are uh, natural indicators that we see. So there are also some man-made in a mad sorry man-made indicators in the laboratories. Those examples are methyl orange and phenacthalene. Okay, children. So as we are having natural indicators, we are also having artificial indicators that which are prepared in the laboratory. In an Official way. So, those are the methyl orange and phenacthalene. So, these are the examples of indicators, natural indicators and artificial indicators. Now, I want you to say an activity by using a natural indicator. As I said that turmeric is a natural indicator. In everybody's home, you can find turmeric powder. Yes, children? Okay. Now, take a bowl and take two pinch of turmeric powder and put it in that bowl. Add few drops of water to that and you will get a paste for like that. Okay, after preparing the paste, what you do is you take a nice white color paper, a small piece of white paper and you try to dip it in the turmeric powder, wet turmeric paste. So to completely rub the turmeric paste onto the paper and wipe it clearly and let the paper to be dry. After 15 minutes, you will get a nice paper of turmeric. It is a natural indicating paper. See, for example, I have prepared one paper for you. I have taken a strip of the natural indicator paper. Okay. So, in what way the indicator paper is helping us, we will see now. See, I have taken an indicator paper and I have also taken a piece of lime. Lime. Lemon. Okay. So, what is the color of this indicator paper right now? It is yellow in color, right? What is the color of this paper? Yellow in color. When I pour some lemon juice, see, I have taken a few drops of lemon juice and I dip this paper into it. Have you observed any color change, children? See, I have taken this turmeric paper and I have dipped into lemon juice. Is there any color change? No. Now, take another bowl and take some washing powder, which you use for washing your clothes. Prepare a few drops of washing powder into water and prepare a solution now add that solution to the turmeric paper okay so i have taken a bowl of uh, containing some soap water or the detergent powder now i have taken this indicated paper and i kept in the water see there will be a magic seen by you 
what will happen we will see the whole yellow color paper how and which color it is going to turn wow it has turned the complete yellow paper into which color children red color yes how is this happen why the yellow color turmeric paper have turned to red color paper what is the reason what is present in the washing powder which is turning this yellow paper into red children think about it and try this experiment at your home okay i have used two ingredients one is the lemon water and another one is the soap water you can take any soap like ring powder or anything and you can make two different mixtures and make a natural indicator okay so after doing the experiment see when i dip the turmeric paper into the uh, powder solution washing powder solution see the yellow color have changed into red what is the reason behind it why this natural indicator have shown a color change i said that indicators are nothing but any substance when added with another substance will show a change in color See here the yellow color substance when taken in the soap solution the color of the paper have changed so what what is the reaction behind it and what does it indicate we will see that about that in the next video and for this video i would like to give you a small homework it is nothing but take or prepare a turmeric paper with a turmeric solution and dry it for 15 minutes later on cut into small small pieces now you try to dip these turmeric papers into different solutions or different food items so you can try with citrus you can try with cool drink or something else or soap solution different types of solutions that you can find naturally at your home whether you can dip it in the vegetable soup or something like that so now whatever the papers you find a change in color put them aside and the papers which doesn't change color put them aside in our further videos we learn about the reactions of these natural indicator paper turning into red color what is the reason behind it and what are acids bases and salts with examples we will learn in the next videos for this video that's all and we'll meet in the next video take care children thank you